Last weekend, the president announced a breakthrough deal with Iran. The Iranians will temporarily freeze their nuclear program in return for the U.S. easing some sanctions. Today, Turkey became the first country to try to take advantage of the business opportunities that may present. The economic minister said he'd like all Turkish banks to be able to do business with Iran. Holly Williams is in Istanbul tonight. Holly, what can you tell us about this? Well, Margaret, it's unclear exactly what this means. Uh, but the background is that in 2011, the U.S. brought in sanctions that prevent foreign banks from doing business with Iran's uh, oil companies. Now, the aim was to cripple Iran's lucrative oil industry uh, as a punishment for the country's nuclear program. And those sanctions have been extremely effective. Uh, but then today, Turkey's uh, economy minister said that uh, those sanctions no longer apply uh, to Turkish banks because of the New Deal that was worked out last week in Geneva by the U.S. to curb Iran's nuclear program. So why did Turkey try to do this? Well, Turkey relies on Iranian oil. Around 40 percent of Turkey's oil imports uh, come from Iran. So this is big business uh, for Turkish banks. But the problem is that uh, while this Turkish minister has said that these sanctions no longer apply, that just doesn't match up with what the U.S. has said. Uh, so the U.S. wants to ease sanctions in a way that's limited and reversible. But there are many other countries that are hungry to start doing business uh, with an oil-rich country like Iran. Holly Williams in Istanbul. Thank you. Iran today invited United Nations nuclear inspectors to visit an unfinished reactor it has refused to let them see for the past two years. It's the first major concession since last weekend's deal, and it shows Iran is making good on promises to open sites that were previously off limits.